Ugreen is a well-known company that sells everything from computer mice to cell phone chargers. And now they're releasing their very first NAS or Network Attached Storage. And they were kind enough to sponsor this video and send me a NAS prior to the official launch to test out and review. At the time of posting this video, you can still get in on those early bird prices on Kickstarter that can get you 35% off, which if you're interested in, there will be a link for that in the description below. The model that I have here is the Ugreen NAS Sync DXP2800, which is the very base model in their lineup, currently available for under $300 on their Kickstarter campaign. On the front, there's two removable bays that can each hold up to 22 terabyte, 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch SATA hard drives. For those of you who aren't familiar with what a NAS is, here's a quick breakdown of what a NAS does and why you need one. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, which means you can put your drives inside the NAS, plug the NAS into your router, and then access those drives from anywhere with any of your devices. But a NAS also usually has more capabilities built into it. This is an HDD, or hard drive disk. And this has a physical spinning disk inside that stores all of your information. The thing about Hard drives is that if you drop them, get them wet, sneeze on them too hard, or just use them normally for too long, they'll die and you'll lose all your information. Sadly, that last one I saved from firsthand experience. I've had drives that I was very careful with and they were just sitting on my desk and one day they stopped working. You can pay a company to try to salvage them, but sometimes that doesn't work or it's just incomplete. This NAS is also a RAID meaning redundant array of independent disks, which means it can protect your information by storing it in a way that's more secure, by creating a mirrored version of your information and storing that information on two separate drives. This way, if one drive dies, you can simply replace it and all your information is still saved on the remaining drive. Once you insert a new drive, your information will be copied back to that new drive. So you once again have duplicates of all your information and you don't lose anything. So in short, a NAS makes it easy to access your hard drives remotely over the web. And it can store your information more securely than just a single external hard drive would be able to. Now, along with this NAS, Ugreen also sent me two four terabyte Western digital hard drives. So while this NAS currently has eight terabytes docked in it, the maximum storage capacity is just four terabytes. Since I have it set up in the RAID 1 configuration, that's making duplicates of all of my information. Though I do have plans in the future to upgrade this with two 20 terabyte drives. Inside this is an Intel N100 12th gen four core, four thread CPU, eight gigabytes of DDR5, which can be expanded up to 16 gigabytes. There's 32 gigabytes of EMMC flash memory. And it also has two M.2 drive slots for installing NVMe SSDs that can be either configured as storage or as cache for your main hard drives. This has an aluminum case that not only looks fantastic, but also feels really sturdy and well-designed. The removable magnetic fan grill on the back is also a nice touch. On the front, there is one USB 3.2 Gen 2 that can support up to 10 gigabytes per second and one USB Type-C Gen 2 that can also do up to 10 gigabytes per second. On the back, there's a 2.5 gigabyte per second ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, and a 4K HDMI port. To get this NAS up and running, all you need to do is insert the hard drives, plug in the power and the ethernet cable, and then head over to find.ugnas.com on your internet browser. This will automatically find the NAS on your network and allow you to connect to it and access the drives without having to download any software on your computer. This software is however available for macOS, Windows, iOS, and Android if you do want to download and install it. From here, you can configure the RAID settings 
and make folders accessible over the network. Once you have made a folder that's accessible over the network, you can make a shortcut for that folder and save it to your desktop. This way, when you wanna add files to the NAS, you can simply drag them into the folder on your desktop instead of having to open up the NAS software. Now, there are plenty of things that this NAS is capable of that I I'm not even going to delve into in this review because they're not things that I personally am going to use it for. Like the HDMI port on the back is supposed to be able to plug into TVs and stream movies. It has AI image recognition and classification abilities that make sorting and searching for your pictures by text super easy. And there's all kinds of configurations in the settings for doing things that I'll never need this NAS for. Personally, I'm going to be storing my photos and videos. My YouTube project files are going to live on this NAS. I've currently been using it for that and it's been working great. Ugreen is already a well-known company with lots of high-end products, but they still chose to use Kickstarter to bring this NAS to market, which I think is a genius move. That means they can rely less on big investors and more on the actual individuals who want to purchase this NAS to fund the development. And it gives them a good idea of whether or not there's enough people out there who are actually interested in buying this, which apparently there is considering the over $4 million that have already been pledged on Kickstarter. So unlike some Kickstarter campaigns where you might be kind of skeptical about whether a company is capable of bringing their product to launch, Ugreen is already making lots of products. They already have all the backers they need on Kickstarter, and they've already sent me this really well-designed and manufactured pre-launch model, which seems very close, if not identical, to what's actually going to ship at launch. So if you sign up for their Kickstarter, you're basically guaranteed to actually receive one of these NASAs. As I mentioned before, you can get in on the early Kickstarter prices for this using the link in the description below. If you're watching this video after the Kickstarter has already ended, I will update that link with an Amazon link. You guys can watch some more of my videos over here and I'll see you in the next one.